Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Block. So between episodes I did do a little bit of exploring. As you see I've got loads of arrows in me. Uh, I was going for, wow, the ones that we were going for, right? So I was going for the golden pulsating and the purple. Uh, and to do that, what I did was I went to the nether. So I, I hop up here, go straight in here. So if you look on my map, what I did, I've removed them all now, but what I did was I looked for these. So these are the easiest, basically, rooms to go in. And it's got like a couple of barrels and sometimes it's got pigmen. Might have a piglin or two in there, but I didn't have any trouble with them. The rest of them, quite difficult to get through. So I did go through a few of the domes as well. And, well... Uh, how do I zoom in on that so quickly? But yeah, you see here, this has got like a hole in it here. So what I was doing was I was flying it over, landing on top, breaking one glass, floating down. Uh, these have got two spawners in them. So I broke both spawners and then they've got five crates in the middle. Uh, yeah, I was mainly looking for purple because there is an absolutely insane trinket in here. That being the turtle shell, which is just an uncommon trinket, but lets you breathe on the water, which is perfect for us because we're in a water map, right? I ended up, uh, so let's hop back through here. I ended up getting quite a bit of trinkets. Ah, uh, trink. It's the R. Trinkets. So we've got a bunch of, uh, like, Duplicates, basically. I think all of these are owned. This one I don't haven't opened yet. Uh, I think that was also from Purple. So uh, I own that one. I own that one. I own that trinket. Oh, and I also got another piece of Broken Heart. So if I just do this and do this, and now this button here, we can have a look at the ones that we can add. So we are going to completely redo our trinkets at some point. So this knockback one's pretty good. No idea what this is, but <laughs> gives me saturation for a little while. Again, I'm not exactly what sees you see invisible entities means, but we've got it, and we've got a duplicate as well by the looks. Um, I will say this this crystal bow is a bit of a beast. You can one shot something sometimes. I don't know if that's the power or what's going on with it, but very good, very good. Have a look, see what achievements we did get. So I got a knife from one of the crates, I believe. And uh, so there was a bastion. I did find one of those. Loot a chest in the bastion. Did that. I did the return to sender. Uh, you know the um, the ghast spawners. So I landed on one of those and I was about to break it and I was like halfway through uh, breaking it when a gas spawned and I broke it. I looked up, the gas fired at me, I went like that and it hit straight back at him. So <laughs> that was uh, was pretty good. Um, I, I'm out of luck going for this purple. Let's move away from here. I keep forgetting that that's our spawn. Our, our room for spawning stuff so yeah, I would love to get some of these it's just not on the cards but what I do think we've got now is decent enough I forgot we need to make another terror steel I was gonna go over there and we were gonna do another attempt of the Gaia spirit saying that though we don't need to because we have actually got uh, Gaia who's about Gaia Oh yeah, like that. So we did get another drop of Gaia Spirits, which was very useful. We got another uh, Wither Star as well. No, what's it called? Nether Star. Uh, yes. So we'd only done two in the previous episode. We got one as a drop when I was flying around. And then I got, got another one whilst I was in the Nether. So I think we can actually make the Tiara. And get a tiara. 
So we are going to make one of these. And then we can change it to whatever we fancy. Uh, mega chicken. Mega ultra chicken. Oh. But we'll go with no wings to begin with. I think we've got a bottle of ender air. Actually, if we do this, we've got everything. Must have got these as a drop. Uh, if I do this or this. Did I prep everything? I think I did. I prepped everything. There we go. We got the... Uh... Where does this go? I shift click that in. Slot head. And that's there now, so... Can this only go in... Where's my head slot? Oh, that's where that is. That can go anywhere, so I'll just put that there. Check those back in, and... Let's remove the jetpack. And now we have creative flight. But you see down uh, near my hunger, it does have like a durability, a little bit of durability, and I think it does take some mana. And we are making little sparkles. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> but that is so much nicer. It's so much nicer for like building. Also, I believe if we're up here. Yeah, we don't take any full damage. Which is lovely. Actually, I wonder if I put this back on. That does just stop us from <laughs> taking full damage, which is insane. And we can also, this is our hover now, which is lovely. We are still going to take on the Gaia, because why not? Why is there a block there? That's where I copied. I forgot about those. I'll need to remove those at some point. But yeah, Let's make a... Oh yeah, I don't have to like mess about with like trying to uh, slow my fall. It is going back up, right? Yes, it is. Lovely. Okay, cool. So we need uh, mana steel, mana diamond. Use one of our ender pearls. We've got a ton of ender pearls now. <laughs> Ridiculous amounts. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent confident that we're gonna manage this fight but we have got significant upgrades I'd say since we last did the fight we've got this nice little bow uh, and we've got all the enchantments we've got nice nicer sword this was the sword we had previously I believe oh yeah I didn't mention this yet but the mana st the reason I've got the mana steel pickaxe on me is because I accidentally threw my supremium pickaxe which is what I was using just because I got given it as a reward, right? I accidentally used it. Not used it. I accidentally uh, tossed it whilst I was in the nether. And it went in the lava and it was gone. But yeah, let's uh, let's get on with this fight. Uh, shift. Oh, this one got me last time. No withering. where he's going to start spawning stuff. Oh, jeez. Should he use those apples? I 
was given last episode. The chicken! Oh no, I shouldn't have killed the chicken. Oh, did it! Oh, amazing. What is that guy doing over there? Oh, that felt good. How many do we get from that? Was it eight? Oh, take so many, so many things. Make the Gaia spreader. Oh, we should have made these Alvin spreaders actually. Looking at it. Cloak of. Cloak of, Cloak of Virtue, okay. World Shaper Astrolobe. No idea what this is. Might have to play with some of these. Cloak of Balance. I think this is a uh, infinite water source thing. Life Aggregator, this is the tiara. Got one of those. Nimbus Amulet. Okay, shard of power one. I'm not exactly sure what, what any of these are. I should probably get the book out. Black hole talisman. Yeah, let's get the book out. I'm not sure if I've. Yeah, no, I can't from here. Well, that went a lot more smoothly. I think it's definitely to do with the bow. So if you are trying to do this on a. Uh, pack that doesn't have anything but Britannia, definitely get to get the bow. <laughs> Bow's insane. How much mana did I use? I don't think it was that much. Uh, that reminds me actually. Uh, no, let's do that later. I'm just going to go turn on my mana again. Because it, once it, it runs out and doesn't have any charcoal in there, it will just stop forever even if it starts getting charcoal again it will stop i have to go manually turn that back on uh what was i doing over here i was getting my book Botaniar. where did i put oh it's right there uh shouldn't this have unlocked a few more chapters I do need to do this other Gaia. Yeah, so what you do here is you uh, you fight an even harder boss. In fact, we might have to go do that. Let's maybe take some of these apples. Absorption 2, absorption 2, speed, resistance. Yeah, maybe we take some of these. Uh, but I was using this to try and figure out some of the stuff that we can make now. Yeah, I've already looked at the ritual of Gaia. Relics. Oh yeah, so once you do the second one, in fact, let's go do the second one right now. And then we'll, uh, uh, let's sleep first actually. What is this doing? Oh. Who needs the time in a bottle when you've got, <laughs> you've got the... Coke oven. Oh no, I need to go make another Terra Steel, don't I? That's fine, we should have quite a bit of mana over here anyway still. Yeah, by the looks of it, we're doing alright on mana. Uh, so it is... mana... And Ender Pearl. I think I got a Mana Steel. Oh, uh, sorry, a Mana Diamond. From somewhere. You can use it to mold stuff. Brilliant. Now we need 
need to make this into is that not a, an achievement from Britannia? Oh, I thought it would be. Oh well. Is this a way of duplicating? Oh yeah, so you turn one nugget into Okay. Ooh, look at that. That goes off the screen. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one way that you can duplicate the uh guy spirits right there, because it takes four to make this. Uh but what is this used for? Okay, so you need it for this creative storage upgrade. And I think you need it for oh wow. What does this make? Oh, the creative. Okay, got ya. Ah, it's fine. I bet there's a seed for this as well. Oh, no, maybe there isn't. Uh, there's definitely a seed for Terra Steel. I know that. Yeah, look. Terra Steel. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go and try our luck at the second fight. Can we eat? Yeah, we can eat these without our hunger being down. Uh, let's put this up here. And good luck. Oh, wow, okay. Already uh, a lot more of these little thingies. Okay. That was very quick, and I didn't use my bloody apples, did I? Uh, I've got to swim over it now, so I'll be back once I've got everything. Yeah, that didn't go as planned, I suppose. <laughs> uh, oh well. I think we'll come back to doing the Gaia, Gaia Guardian take two. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. We'll come back to doing that at another point in time. Uh, was it a new thing that I wanted to move on to? So I'm currently smelting up some more charcoal. Uh, it's not for our Batania stuff. Uh, well, as you can see right here, I'm trying to get into industrial foregoing. But, yeah, it takes some cast iron, which we are out of again. So I did set up my uh, mechanism I had. Uh, actually, I'll put this back to what it was. It was this into this. Yeah. So if I pop back up here. So I set this up just over here for now. Uh, and I was going to do something like this and get some iron. I did go and check on my system as well. And we are sort of these chunks. Slowly getting through the chunks. A lot of them have already finished, so that's nice. But yeah, um, I'm just getting some iron. I have no idea how many this is going to give us, but um, hopefully that will be enough. So two of these, I think one of these, see how many they can do. One, two, three. okay, so that's eight. One of these can do eight and how many can I tell you what? I'm just going to chuck them all in, and we'll uh, deal with that when when we can. I'll just yeah, <laughs> this works for now. And then what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to smelt them up. I should probably make what I was thinking actually is to. I got another. No, I don't. I was thinking. Uh, I should make a new compact machine. I kind of want to split these up. So I'll explain what I mean. In here I've got my power set up. This, this compact machine is basically my main base right now. So I've got my power set up. I've got my uh, smelting set up. Or processing set up. And then I've got my sieving set up all in one. But ideally, we want to have them uh, sort of split out. So we have single responsibility, that's what that's called. 
Uh, that would be the plan. Uh, so that is something that I should be getting on with at some point. But one thing I should do is do a completely automated mechanism setup because it's quite, I think that's quite interesting having a completely automated mechanism. Show you how I do it at least. Slightly different to how most people do it, I suppose, but yeah. It uses half the uh, refined storage and half the mechanism itself. Oh, the reason why I'm doing this, by the way, is because you can use enriched iron, smelt that up straight away into cast iron. So the plan is we're just going to get a ton of this enriched iron, smelt up like yeah, ridiculous amounts of it. Then we're going to have loads of cast iron and we shouldn't need to do that again for this whole pack. Yeah, there's like, I don't know, 10 stacks here. Ideally, that's what's going to happen, but no idea if that's going to be the case. Let's get some more iron. Chuck this in, actually. I already had some in the system. Maybe I just put that in there. I'm not sure, but yeah. Let's just make sure this is topped up so we can get we can get rid of all the carbon in here. Uh, if you didn't see what I did there, what I did was I put in charcoal into the enrichment factory, and that basically turns it from a one to one to a one to eight. Do it with diamonds as well, which is like really useful when you get into late game uh, mechanism. But yeah, I'm going to do this and smelt all of this stuff up and then we'll be back. So I, I uh, made, well actually it's still going right now. Uh, what I did do is I set up a pattern for it and then I just uh, requested that many cast iron. Well, the amount that we had just because I couldn't be asked to sit here and like put it in or remove this and put in like a exporter or something like that. But yeah. This is what we are going to go for, for the uh, industrial foregoing setup we've got. So I think I'm, if you've been watching my other series too, you uh, you will recognize this a little bit. Uh, and I might do a little bit of dirty cabling for now. Um, yeah, we can tap into this for now. And bring this down like this. I want to get this underneath. So here, one, two, three, and here as well. Actually, this needs to be an external storage. Let's do it out. Yeah, why not? Let's do it out this way. I'm trying to do a little bit more things on camera for you guys because I realized recently I'm doing quite a bit off camera. That looks a bit weird. Okay, so now we need a constructor. We should have like quite a lot of constructors because I had, a, well, I had my setup down here, didn't I, to make the uh, concrete stuff, no, the paste stuff for Dyer's mod. Uh, so if I do that, that, external storage, one of those, be like that, and then wrench, keep missing the R key, there we go, so that goes up like that, up like that, up like that. Now we need to use the Arcacia logs, so I'm going to get one of those. These are being powered by the way, so I just put a flux point in the corners like this. I could have done it the other way, but I think this looks a little bit neater. Chuck that in like that. There you go, being placed. These are, oh yeah, I need to get some pipes for this. Uh, so, uh, pipes. What other things have we got? to move liquids around. I don't think I've seen any more like mods that have sort of fluid, I'm just typing fluid. Uh, 
I think the only thing we can use is this fluid pipe, which is, yeah, absolutely fine. I'm happy to use them. Just wondered if there was any any others in there. Uh, one of those. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. No, nope, not there. Four. Yeah, just chuck them in the middle like that. And then I've got my wrench somewhere. I don't think this wrench can be used for... No, it can't. Wrench. Oh, I've got loads of wrenches. They're, they are giving us rewards from... Uh, yeah, the green barrels. So there was a load of green barrels that I was like, I might as well pick these up as I'm here. So I've got a few infusion crystals, mineral logs, like spice cakes, stuff like that. So this now should be making us some, oh that's a point, I need to put priority on this to 10, set this to liquids. Why is that not coming in? Oh, because they're all going into each other, maybe? Is there any in there? Let's don't ignore. Well, I'll break in this. I don't know where the... Because I'm holding this wrench. Oh, there you go. It's got a bucket in there already. So that's very nice. One of those, one of those. Okay, so... We could... It's going up really nicely. Lovely. We could actually make some upgrades for this in a bit. But for now, I want to get a crafter. Did I craft? I did make a thing for the crafter. It's very nice. Actually, I want two of these. So give me two, please. Ah. Yeah, about that. Let's scrap these back out. I should really automate making these uh, components. everything you done for the crafters craft oh you are nice I don't think we need to upgrade these to anything special not, not yet at least now we need the latex processing unit I think lay process yeah one of these so let's make another one of those Grab a couple of buckets. So if we had a fluid uh, monitor, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna make one of those, I'll be right back. So I made this uh, fluid grid right here. Uh, and yeah, you just see. Also, uh, if I go and I'm going to put this latex back in the barrel that we have, or the jumbo tank. I think a thousand buckets is like enough latex. What we can do is you can go in here, and I think yeah, there we go. So you just click on it, and then you can I think you can put it back in from here. Oh yeah, so I didn't need to go down there. But yeah, that's how you access. Oh like this okay so you access that so I'm now what was I building latex processing unit there we go got one of those now so we can stick this uh, where's power so there's power right there I like that it's got all of this stuff. Let's get an ender tank. Got a water one already. I want to put it here, but I don't know what it will do to this. Doesn't seem to be messing with it, so that's all good. But that will fill this up with water, and now we just need some latex to go in there. 
So what I am going to do is uh, I've got these. How do these place? Let me go over here. Backwards, of course they do. So you want to put it here like this. There we go. Now, if we hop back up here and go for well, we need to make a pattern for tiny dry rubber. I'm not a big fan of the dragging mechanic that you can do in. Why is that saying a latex processing unit? That's very strange. Oh, okay. So what we're going to have to do is shift click that, go over to fluids. We might need a bucket, damn it. Okay. Bucket, we've got a bucket right here. Go in here, click this, grab this out. Oh, this is a bit of a drama. One bucket, and then we can edit this to be 100 miller buckets. And then when we go back over to solids, remove this. Yes, shift click. Cool. Oh, right. So now, what this should do. Now oh, we need an importer as well. This is going to be super messy. Okay. Importer. Oh, I love that I've uh, auto crafted this on this series. I don't have it on my other series, so. Let's just check that on the front. Output. Yeah, everything's enabled. Now what we should do is. Also create a couple of other patterns. So we need this pattern here. And we need this pattern here. So the tiny dry rubber can go in here. We can sort of take a few of these out. Let's do that one. Check that back in back in the system for now. Uh, and then this one can go in our Rather here. So now we should be able to make plastic. Plastic. I think we need two. So I'll show you what's happening here. So in our crafting monitor, it sent nine times two buckets, or a hundred miller buckets times that, over to here. Uh, if I can click on it properly, and that is doing. 18 of these tiny dry rubbers, which will then turn into one, no, turn into two dry rubbers, and then those dry rubbers will be smelted into two plastic. There you go. So that's, that's where we're at right now. I put this, this back in. There we go. Yeah, I think that is all we have time for for today. We will next episode get into. I'm thinking maybe wither, doing some automated wither kills. That will involve mystical, no, not mystical agriculture. I got you, didn't I? No, that will involve uh, using this industrial foregoing setup to set up a wither builder. And for the wither builder, we do need uh, to trap a wither and get some ether gas. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, look at that in the next episode. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.